you want to know what's going on. always curious as a kid what it would be like to be a tiny little person going in through the woods. I think that's pretty universal really, like what kid doesn't like to get down on their knees and, and check things out. Beekhorns are little characters I make out of acorns and sticks. I take them outside and I pose them in a little scene. I wait for animals to come, and then I take pictures of them interacting with wildlife. There's a wide variety of personalities in the bee corn world. They tend to be gentle. They're almost always curious and up to something. There are warriors that are defending against squirrels. They definitely are nurturers. They feed the wildlife and care for them. My first job out of school was as a toy designer at Lego. The real beginning of Beekhorns was when I worked at Bionicle. Bionicle takes off with new wings, weapons, and boosters. The toy Normally when you build with Legos, you try and build in a really structured way. But we would just hack them apart and hot glue them together to quickly arrive at a prototype. Then we'd show them the kids and get their feedback. And I just loved hearing their thoughts. I learned so much. After five years, I left Lego and I was at home sweeping my mom's driveway thinking, wow, what a great job that was and what am I doing now? And I looked down at all these sticks and acorns in my feet and I kind of realized, like, oh my God, everything I did at Lego, I can do with these sticks and acorns and kind of create a whole world with them. I was building the figures, and I was like, okay, what do I do with them now? And sort of the, the clear first step was to take pictures, and it sort of evolved from there. So every time I go for a walk, I'm always on the hunt for good, good sticks and good acorns. The perfect stick is, is about as the thickness of a barbecue skewer and it's got knobby parts. And I like them to have like a slight bend in it because I've found if they're straight, then the characters don't really look alive. But if they have like just a slight bend, then they look more alive. And then the perfect acorn has a cap that like goes most of the way around and then just has a perfect little circle. Um, and like the nose just sticks right out in the middle. A lot of times I have a, a pretty good idea about the scene I'm trying to go for when I build it. And so I'm trying to think of what the right pose should be. And as I'm building, I'm kind of thinking about the mechanics and how they hold their weight. And like if they're running, they should be leaning forward. Or if they're kind of scared, like are they leaning back? So I kind of have a pretty good idea of what I'm going for. And on the day when the light's good, there's no wind, I'll go outside and I'll set up the scene. I'll set up the camera and I use a remote control. I stand way back, far enough that I can kind of see what's going on. And then when the animals come, I you know, push my little button and hope for the best. Almost always something different happens than what I expected. Usually there's a surprise that's great. It'll like jump on its head and suddenly it tells this other story that I hadn't even imagined. The pinnacle of Beekhorn lore is when I built this character, it's holding a basket and I filled it with seeds. I set it out and I was trying to get a cardinal to come eat from the basket. Instead a squirrel came and carried it away off into the woods. I chased it into the woods. I kind of felt like an idiot chasing it into the woods. At some point I was like, I'm not gonna catch this squirrel, what am I doing? 
So then I built another. The first one that was taken was named Junie with two O's. And then the second one was Junie Jr. And Junie Jr. also was carried away by a squirrel into the woods. So then I really wanted the shot. Like, I'm not going to give up on this shot. Um, so I built a third Junie, Junie the third, who still lives today. I choose names that kind of speak to the personality. One of my favorite characters is named Dink. He has his arms in front of his face and anything you put in his hands, he's like automatically excited about. You put a berry in his hand and he's like really excited to eat it. Or you put a flower in his hand and he's really just in awe of this flower. I have two characters named the John John brothers and you can put kind of anything in their hands to be carrying and they're always kind of up to something. They always have a plan. So if they're carrying this like squash, it's like, what are they doing with this squash? I have them carrying like a bunch of grapes and then they're like offering the grapes to this sort of elder bee corn. I was scrolling Instagram one day and I saw this picture of a bird splashing in a bird bath and it just looked so fun and lively and I just thought like wow that's a scene I want to get with a bee corn. So I started sketching. My favorite at first was to get a bee corn in a boat and the bird would be next to it kind of splashing it getting it wet because um, I wanted some kind of interesting interaction. And then I did this other sketch which I think is so much more fun where the two are just like splashing and playing and it reminded me of being a kid in the summer splashing with my friends in the water. And this was the one I had to do. All right, let's see if the birds come. I'm really happy with the shots I ended up with. I think some of them really did capture that like joyful summer celebration that I was going for. And then I got some surprising shots too. So as usual, I kind of started out with a plan and like the birds took over and gave me stuff that's just better than I ever could have asked for. Kind of the essence of bee corns is this, this wonder about the natural world and sort of experiencing nature and the wonder of nature in kind of a really pure way. And a lot of people have said like, I haven't felt that since I was a kid. And I didn't even realize like that I was missing that feeling. As an artist, that's, I don't know, that's the dream. It's really a gift. Watch more Art Inc. with new episodes uploaded every Wednesday on ripbs.org slash artinc.